Hey, I was watching a friend do some uh, one credit clear attempts on Twitch and I saw that there was an update for this game, which for me is always the most exciting thing because these guys update so often and they add pretty substantial changes. It seems like at least once a week, sometimes more than that, sometimes twice a week. So first thing they changed, there used to be a talent over here that made it so that you, uh, you guard canceled faster. But they removed that and they just added it to your base, uh, you know, loop set. So they did another uh, skill reset. So I didn't change too much. Uh, I have the 10 points in here to get the uh, extra 20% damage with air combos. And I gave myself some more uh, energy points, which is good for dashing. So I'm probably going to go for this, uh, this durable. probably start working towards this. Uh, getting 20 points of anger is really good now, now that they have uh, more of a use for that bar instead of just bursting and for your ultimate or your supers. Uh, that actually seems like something worth pecking in, so <laughs> it's probably going to take like a, a week or so of uh, doing at least one run a day to get that, but whatever. So you'll have an extra skill point here uh, if you're playing the game. Once you reset, uh, you know, you'll be able to just kind of refresh things and have a little bit of extra skill points to work with. So I went ahead and uh, I've actually earned an extra point uh, just from testing all the changes, but I went ahead and got this for the uh, little steam sale skill, which I think will be pretty useful in the long run. Purchasing stuff and getting a fruit sounds nice, but I don't know, you spend more money upgrading, at least the way the game is now, so I don't know how useful that will be. Bargaining might be really good. You can really probably really turn around a run. Uh, even if you're only able to get the 50% steam sale. <laughs> I imagine that will probably be a, a game changer. The the bottom row of the uh, shop has a really good item and you have just enough to get it with 50% off. Uh, that could really change things. So I'm probably going to spend a point on that at some eventually, I guess. Then this one, uh, every new battle room will drop a random food. Uh, That'll work really well, but I don't know if this means that it will spawn the rotten food, because the rotten food has a chance of making you lose health instead of gain health. And the way it works is uh, if something drops, like say you beat a room and the challenge chest drops, uh, say one of the meats or fruit, if you leave the room and come back, uh, the fruit or meat becomes rotten. Uh, there are items that increase the or lower the chance of it poisoning you or making you lose health, but don't seem to get it too often. All right. So to show the rest of the stuff, I'll have to uh, go into the game here. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to show the changes, and then I'm going to turn off the video, and then show the rest of the run because I think people get scared off when they see a, a half hour long change video. <laughs> it still takes about a half an hour to finish the run, so. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show the changes here, and then probably do a couple rooms. I'll, I'll go through the first floor, and then I'll do uh, floors two through four uh, in a separate video. So people can watch that if they're interested. So with the, uh, the daggers, they added a stinger move on the ground, which does uh, has like a, a launching effect. Uh, you can even guard cancel and reset your combo after, so it, it works pretty well. Uh, just to close a gap, like if you dash and then do the, the stinger, uh, you can pretty much launch a whole bunch of enemies and start a full combo off that, so it's very useful. I don't think the glaive got anything new, I think the glaive is just the, uh, the little Ouroboros orb. The sword got basically a charge slash, kind of like <laughs> what you would do in a hunting game. Uh, you charge it, you need 30 points, which is uh, out of 100, so about a third of your bar. You use that and you charge it and uh, it does a whole ton of damage like if you can stun a boss uh, I imagine that one of the metas would be uh, if you take the sword and shield you land the counter which stuns all enemies and then go into this you probably do some pretty crazy damage especially if you have anything that, that will proc after that so I'm gonna go ahead and show some of these off now it's just gonna be a normal mode run see what the uh, shops got. I've got a ton of points. I've got like five runs worth of points, so... 
Ah, uh, see, this this sword I can't stand because it just uh, it uses too much energy, and I find myself getting caught, like not being able to uh, dodge. I guess if you had a good build, you could probably use it, especially now with the new uh, move that they added. It probably does really good damage, but I've just never really been a fan of it. So I'm gonna go with the dagger. Not uh, spectacular at all, but <laughs> it'll work for now. So when I go into this next room here, uh, you'll want to pay attention to the uh, super bar. I have the mouse up. Right here, this is your anger bar, your super bar. Uh, it is uh, separated into sections now, so it's separated into tens. So some moves take 10, some moves take 20, some moves take 30. Uh, the stinger takes 20, I think, and the, uh, the greatsword attack takes 30. And the, uh, the orbs with the uh, glaive takes 10. So sometimes it's worth using it uh, if you can get everyone into a combo or you can start a combo with it. Sometimes you can get all the meter back. Alright, so I want to do all the uh, combat rooms here so you guys can see. I'm not too practiced with this yet. Uh, it, it just came out like <laughs> a couple hours ago. I only did one run, so it's not going to be uh, too optimized. I like the way the progression works in this game, like even when I'm just showing stuff off like this and I don't really have a, a particular goal in mind for my progression, you still are progressing because you're getting experience toward the talent tree. Alright, so I'll show some of the moves now. So I used to have to uh, wait a little longer to guard cancel, but now you can do it whenever. I did think it was a little silly to have uh, such a major mechanic kind of locked behind the skill tree, but they've changed that. I can see why the uh, the double jump is locked behind the skill tree, because it's meant to make you uh, learn how to play the game so that you can use it properly. One thing I hope, uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to probably do a pass on the items at some point in the near future since they're kind of fine-tuning a lot of the other aspects of the game. The combat's in a really good spot now, now that they have a special move for every weapon. It definitely uh, adds a new dynamic, you have more ways to approach, it's not just doing the same combo over and over. It's one reason why I kind of stopped playing for a while, I figured watching me play was kind of boring unless I had a really good build because it's just doing the same combo endlessly, but now there's a lot more variety. I hope that they'll add even more moves or find more ways to improve the combat, but I think right now it's in a really good spot. But I hope that when they do an item pass, they don't add uh, too many trash items. That's what I don't like about a lot of other roguelikes. I'm sure you know uh, the Binding of Isaac is what started the whole roguelike craze to begin with. <laughs> the thing I, I never liked about that game is how many trash items there are. and They, they tried to kind of band-aid the problem. I'm not an expert on that game at all, but from what I played of it, like, they tried to band-aid it with having synergies, you know, if we had, like, one or two specific other items, it would just become more powerful. But there's still just too much trash. It really removed the excitement of getting an item in the first place. And this, a lot of the synergies just come from how you play, like, the Alistor. The Alistor is pretty cool because it procs the lightning. What the lightning does is it allows you to get a free launch off a Helmbreaker, so as long as you're aggressive, pretty much everything is going to be juggled non-stop. <laughs> so if you're good at the game, you're good at maneuvering the character, and you can dash around and stuff, like a lot of things won't even be able to hit you, so it's not like inherently broken. Like even if you do just spam the Helmbreaker, you have a lot of recovery, 
and if you guard cancel or jump cancel it, you still have some recovery on that as well. So the more effective way to use it is to use the Helmbreaker and start a combo, then launch them up in the air, and do another Helmbreaker, and then try to get to the next enemy while they're still launched. I think that's a really cool kind of synergy besides just, you know, you just kill everything in one hit or <laughs> you have like full screen nukes and stuff. I, I don't find that terribly interesting. So, I like the way that they've uh, changed things so far. So there's nothing really uh, spectacular in the shop this time. I imagine most of the time I come in here and one of the consumable items is going to be half off. <laughs> Not too attractive, obviously. Alright, let's get this level 2. Let me know if you guys would like full commentated runs of this. Uh, they don't really have any kind of... Uh, like, daily engagement with the game right now. There's no daily challenges or anything with, like, uh, seated builds or anything like that. Uh, but if people would like a full commentated run of this, I could probably do one once in a while. I don't really... Uh, do full commentary unless it's a guide or it's something that needs to be explained but if people would like that I can go ahead and do it. I'm pretty low on cash right now so <laughs> I'm gonna be playing stuff like this more often. Alright let me hurry up and get through this floor. Some people go crazy for rogue like, like daily videos and stuff. <laughs> I know people like Northern Lion. Uh, that's like their main claim to fame is like having a whole like LP series. But I'm not much of a let's player. I don't really watch them much myself, so I've never really wanted to do that. But if people would like, you know, maybe I could commentate a daily run or something if they add that. I could probably add that into the uh, schedule. Here's an example of how you can use the stinger to start a combo. I definitely find myself using the guard cancels more now that they've actually uh, not made you have to grind for them. They need to fix some of these active hitboxes. <laughs> some attacks in this game are active for a really long time. So even if your character does like a perfect evade, like they'll just uh, they'll still get hit. Anyway, that's the uh, most of the changes. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna turn off the recording and come back and finish the rest of the run so you guys can see the final change final change or the final major change is that the last boss instead of there being one skeleton dragon there's two of them and they don't have uh, invincibility anymore so it's not like before where you would hit them and they would turn orange and you can't hit them for a couple seconds or like a couple phases of their attacks uh, now they are vulnerable all the time but uh, it's a much more intense fight simply because there's two of them on the screen and you have to really keep track of the one that's uh, firing the laser because that's the one that's going to probably do the most damage, especially off-screen. They could definitely uh, do with having an indicator for when they're about to do the laser off-screen, because you can't always fit them both on one screen, but it does make the fight a lot faster. It's a lot less waiting around, which I think is pretty good. Like, even if one 
is camping in the corner or on the ground, there will always be one, or most often there will be one that you can attack all the time. Anyway, that's the brunt of the changes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off the video and then come back with the rest of the run. See you later.